everybody. I'm Gwen Lawrence, and welcome to Power Yoga for Sports Pose of the Month. Today we're going to talk about Plank Pose, also known as Top of the Push-Up. Okay, so you're going to come to your mat. Very important are the angles here in this pose. You're going to come hands flat on the floor, hands shoulder width apart, palms flat, fingers spread. Really important that you push through the whole hand. Biggest mistake I see here with my athletes is they roll to the outer edge of the hand and don't have much of a connection through the base of the pointer finger and thumb. I want you to push down, especially through the circle of the whole palm and feel the extension of all five fingers on each hand. Okay, and then you're gonna press back, toes tucked, feet are hips width apart, parallel, and your heels are straight up to the sky. Press yourself up, plank pose. Don't hyperextend your elbows like that. Keep them in neutral. Don't sink into your shoulders and neck. Push the floor away. Stay extended. Don't sink the hips. Don't lift the hips. Keep one nice line. So you're pushing back through your heels, out through the top of your head, pushing the floor away, and holding. Big quad strengthener, big abdominal strengthener, wrist opener, really good pose to just hold. A lot of variations you can do. You can go on your forearms, you can do wrist turns, you can drop your heels from left to right. holding a little bit longer each time. This is a great abdominal workout. You could have forearm plank holding contests. <laughs> See who could hold it longer. And knees down and come out of it. That's plank pose. Easy enough. Good luck and have fun. Hi, I'm Gwen Lawrence, and welcome to Power Yoga for Sports, Pose of the Month. Today we're going to talk about a pose called Happy Cow, which for a lot of my athletes, it's not very happy, it's not very easy, but do the best of you can, that you can. I would suggest that you get pretty versed in doing pigeon pose before you go into poses like Happy Cow that are a little bit deeper. So um, look up Pose of the Month, Pigeon Pose. Practice that one a lot. When that one comes very easy for you, then you can progress and come into happy cow. So you're going to come to seated. Keep your block nearby. Let's start with left leg on top of the right. So you want to bring knee on knee. Another way to get into the pose, because coming from a seated pose and bringing it over is sometimes a little bit difficult for uh, athletes with thicker, denser legs. So what you can do is come onto your hands and knees and bring the right knee behind the left knee. I used to teach this pose, funny story, and uh, I used to do it the hard way and say, bring your left leg through and around and open the feet, sit back. And I saw one of my students just go, and it was revolutionary for me. Anyway, so right knee is behind the left knee, open up the feet. Keep your block within reach, and what you're going to do is go ahead and sit back, okay? Deep hips. Now, before you go any further or do anything else, you want to make sure both hips are grounded. If you're pretty tight here, you might have the left hip up off the floor. If that's the case, then go ahead and sit back on a block or some pillows until you could sit flat on the floor, okay? You want to have left knee, in this case, stacked right over the right. Knees are right in front of you, not off to the left, not off to the right. You could stay here, just work your back. It's hard enough to just be here, much less go any further in the pose. That's fine. If you want to go deeper, you bring your right arm up to the sky, behind your head, left arm comes around and up, and you make a connection with your hands. If you can't do that, no worries. Take your strap and use your strap as an extension of your arms. So you're sitting up nice and tall, 
holding here, taking some deep breaths. One to three to five minute hold. You can even fold it forward if you want. Coming up, releasing the arms. Come on to your hands and knees. The easy way, right leg comes out and then try the other side. Don't forget the other side. Whatever you do on the first side, do it on the second side. Even if it's your better side, you want to keep your body as symmetrical as possible so it runs like a well-oiled machine. This is a tough one to fall in love with, but do your best. And Happy Cow will help you open your hips, your shoulders, your heart, your chest for a nice deep lung capacity, good heart rate, blood flow. Have fun. See you next time.